All right, so we're back out here at Elevated AF, and uh, today we're going to be working on something pretty dang cool. So I picked up this Polaris Ranger the other day. Brand new, fresh off the showroom floor. This thing is uh, as new as they come. So what we're going to be doing with this is basically putting a huge lift, big portals, and massive tires, and basically kitting this thing out to be the ultimate mud machine this could be pretty cool. Also, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton, and I appreciate it so much. So, the guys are just on break right now, but they're working on this GMC, which, which is going to be turned into a huge lifted SEMA truck build, which uh, is going to be getting done pretty quick. We got the parts in the other day, and uh, they're going to be working on this through the day. But we're going to get this Ranger inside here, and uh, we're going to go pick up some parts for it so the guys can get working on it to make it the craziest mud machine you've probably ever seen. Well, you know, I say that, but then we're probably going to build something crazier down the line. All right, let's get this thing unloaded here, and we'll get it put on the lift, ready to go for the guys once they get off their break here. Also, we've got trucks coming in today, a few of them at least, so uh, we're going to be pretty busy. All right, there we go. That's good for now. We'll just shut this door here. So through the week here, we've been selling stuff left, right, and center we sold this entire camping setup right here. This Jeep, this camper. Next day after I put it out, uh, it got bought pretty dang fast. So uh, this was definitely a fast selling item and we're going to be building out more of these things. Also, the Yamaha sold with that package. I guess they wanted the Yamaha with the package. So uh, it worked out pretty good. So we got to move that out of the showroom today. And then this orange, completely traffic cone looking side by side uh, sold as well. So we got to move this out of the showroom. But that's going to wait till later. First, we got to go pick up a bunch of parts for this new Polaris build. And I think the Jeep in this trailer should work out just fine. Anyway, we got a bit of a drive to pick up those new parts. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we are just heading back here from the store. We picked up loads of different parts. Uh, we also got some pallets. So we had some uh, extras just to move around stuff because we always have lots of stock parts that we need to uh, put into storage. And we needed a few more of those. We got boxes of parts there. We got new rims and tires for the new build. So lots of fun stuff. All right, I don't know what I was thinking. I got to take this thing around the back. Keep forgetting that's where we put all our parts. All right, I'm going to park this. Yeah, right here should work. I think the guys are still on break. Hold on. Never mind. Wrong one. Aha, this is what I was looking for. I wonder if I can fit it out the door. I don't think so. It'd be nice if I could. But yeah, I don't think so. We're just going to have to take it around. Also, that Ranger is getting its plastics changed. Uh, I didn't want to keep it orange, so uh, we're changing those up. I wonder if I can get through here. Probably can. Oh, yeah, we can make it through here. But, yeah, didn't want to keep that Ranger orange, so uh, it's getting a change to probably blue or something. Anyway, I'll see you guys when these are unloaded. All right, so we ended up getting those parts unloaded. The guys are back at work working on that Ranger and the GMC there, so those should be done pretty quick. They're going to try bang out those builds as fast as they can, but I've got to go on a quick business trip. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, y'all. So it is the next day and we're just getting back. And uh, the guys, it's so early. The guys aren't even here yet. But they did say that the GMC is ready for us. They're still working on the Rangers. So that's a bit out yet. But they said the GMC is in Bay 2. So we're going to go check that out. See how it turned out. I haven't seen it in quite a while. So uh, let's see how it turned out. Oh, kind of leaning there a little bit. I think it kind of came off the uh, lift a little bit. Dang, look at this. Oh, man, this is such a sick truck. So this is a build we did for a guy. Now he's not coming to pick it up yet for another two months. So this thing has to stay here for two months. But what we are going to do in the meantime with this truck is we're going to stick it in the showroom. Now I did okay with him. So he is okay with us taking it in the showroom and just keeping it there for now. Reason for that is to basically just to show off our work for anyone that wants to come in and get a custom truck done. They can see that we can do stuff like this. So this thing's pretty cool. Now I meant to get the showroom organized yesterday, but... As soon as I saw that this thing was going to get done, I was happy to wait so we could actually get it organized with this in there as our new main truck. All right, there we go. Now, obviously, soon I want to get myself a wrap truck that's going to have our logo on it and then all the brands that we support, which would be really cool. I think we're going to do that eventually. We're working on stuff like that. So hopefully soon enough that comes to pass. But since this Jeep and camper pack sold as well as that Yamaha there, we got to move that out of there and this Ford. And there's a bunch of stuff we got to move. So we better get to work. The guys should be in here pretty quick. They're going to be working on that Ranger again. Because I want that done super, super quick. Because I would like to put that in the showroom. They said there's not much left on it. So they, I think they should be able to get it done today, if not tomorrow. They're pretty much just adding a lot of cosmetic parts at this point. 
and apparently uh last episode i called this a honda wolverine i apologize that was not intentional i get the names mixed up okay it's a yamaha wolverine all right let's get this thing pulled out of here the guy's supposed to come pick it up tomorrow so wanted it out of the showroom of course we're gonna give this thing a complete wash and detail before he comes picks it up make it look real nice and uh, we'll pull the yamaha out of there as well why not all right time for the gmc get this thing in the showroom looking good oh man it's gonna be so cool can't wait to do more trucks like this all right there we go i think that's gonna work for now so then this mud truck we're gonna stick behind the gmc or on the side of it just like so we had a guy actually interested in this thing so hopefully it sells soon i love this thing but i need it out of the showroom but it's it's a pretty unique item so it's not like it's just gonna sell right away it's not exactly the easiest thing to just get rid of also we wanted to kind of have a trailer setup done with this truck but never mind there's not a hitch on it so that's gonna have to wait all right time to get the good old traffic coming out of the way okay well the showroom is looking kind of empty right now but we have more stuff coming in to actually fill it up all right there we go i'll have some of the guys deal with uh this stuff get it all detailed for the new customers i guess the new owners of it so they're happy and uh i got a few more things to do for the new house that's going up just over there so hopefully when we come back tomorrow the uh, ranger is good to go so i'll see you guys in a little bit all right so it is saturday morning now usually we're closed on saturdays or weekends but i'm coming in here anyway the guys are not even at the shop today but the reason why i'm coming in is because they said the ranger is good to go they finished it last night and uh, we're gonna go check it out i can't wait to see this thing i've been planning this build for quite a while so hopefully it turns out just as good as i think it will but if i know my guys they did it pretty good and dad gum did they do it what is up with me and picking blue I, I keep picking blue builds so uh it keeps coming out like this except that last one we picked it red but dang fuel rims oh look at this thing speakers all the way around we got yeti cooler in the back i think you call these things whips or the, like I, they light up so i don't know I, I don't even know what they're called we got the lifted suspension we got the huge portals like look at that look at how big that that is sweet got the stickers all the way around this thing i want to keep this thing as my personal machine man this is just this is cool we so we built this thing as a shop machine now this is technically for sale we're gonna put it out in the showroom but uh, we didn't build this for a particular customer so we could technically go and test it out technically speaking we could and maybe i will i don't know about today but uh, i think we'll definitely take this thing out and test it in the mud anyway let's hop in this thing dang look at this so they changed the plastics on this thing and i gotta say it looks a lot better than orange oh man look at this this so they put light bars all the way around it too let's just shut the uh garage door here oh look at the speakers on this thing all right so let's flip on the lights here and you can see everything lights up look at all that oh yeah and then we got the we got the full lights here dang look at this what a build Oh, this thing is so dang tall. I'm scared of tipping it, honestly. I gotta be careful, but man, does this look so good. I don't know if I really wanna drive it around too much because I feel like I'm gonna tip it if I take a corner too fast, so I'm gonna have to be careful. But I wanna save most of the driving for mud. We're definitely gonna have to go take this thing out and test it. There's no way I'm not doing that. This thing is way too cool not to, but it's gotta go in the showroom right now. We'll probably take it out next weekend this weekend i got a few more things i got to deal with i'm working on the new house that's just over there so hopefully that's done soon and i can actually have a place to stay i don't think the guys got to that yesterday because they were too busy working on this thing but that's okay because i was really hoping to have this thing done the only thing we're going to probably change on this thing is the little seat covers on there we got to change those to blue but after that this thing is gonna be perfect all right uh where are we gonna put this thing i don't know if i want it by there i think you know what we're just gonna stick it over here we're gonna stick it towards the stock stuff why not why not all right there we go maybe i need like a stock ranger to compare this thing to now i don't know i kind of don't want to put it here but i'll probably figure something out we're gonna get some more stuff in the showroom here by monday hopefully and uh we'll be we'll be pretty good but anyway guys that's gonna be the end of the episode for today if you did enjoy smash that like button also if you're new consider subscribing we got a few new cool builds coming very very soon so it should be pretty awesome to see what the shop can do with those but anyway hope y'all enjoyed and i'll see y'all in the next one cranking up the radio